everyone, welcome to From the Couch. This is David Perrell. This is brought to you by Obox Design. Behind the camera is my brother Mark. Mark, say how's it? How's it? And um, basically today I'm just going to... It's web orientated in the sense of web design. And um, just uh, the theme is drawing, creating a, a hand-drawn style design. <laughs> anyway, um, we did it with We Are Not Freelancers and uh, it's been featured in like tons of sites won like a couple of little awards and things like that and basically a lot of people have actually contact, contacted us through that blog www.freelancers.co.za and um, you know people have met us and stuff and they're like wow you know like to to design a blog like that or whatever must be so hard and like you know it's so tough to draw things like I'm not that good at drawing but um you don't have to be good at drawing to create a, a site like this, okay? There's a simple technique that I used to create the site, okay? You think up whatever you can, okay? So in this case, I'll redraw the squid down here, okay? That squid over there, I'll just quickly redraw it, okay? Now the whole, the concept behind this thing is, you don't lift your pencil. So once you start drawing, let's bring it down here. Once you start drawing, okay? Don't, don't sketch like this, because then, you, you know, where do you stop with te technically? Can you see anything there? I can. Okay, so we're going to draw a squid, okay? So the squid goes like that, and it goes like that. You see, I haven't lifted my pen once I start drawing the line. Then I draw it through there, go lightly, and I draw it through there, and I come back. And before you know it, you have uh, squid tentacles, eh? What would you say? Okay, now that didn't take much effort. You didn't have to be so skillful. Look, I just drew two lines, okay? It's nothing technical, but when you put it onto a website, it looks brilliant. Let's just draw a couple of circles. Dung, 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 dung. Dung. Okay, but the thing is, with sites like this, once you've finished on this phase, okay, you got to move over and you got to trace it onto tracing paper. Now, my tracing paper is very thin. Okay. So, I often use after put more than one thing on a piece of paper. Anyway, that's like minor technical stuff. Now, the reason why I'm putting on tracing paper is because we need to use put it on like uh, make it darker lines for scanning. Okay? Cuz this thing's going to be scanned so you can color on it. No, so we can color it in. You see, I haven't erased the lines here or anything like that. Let's see here. No, you can't really see in any case. Oh, that's irrelevant. Okay, so now we're just going to go and we're going to confirm that this pen works. Okay, I suggest using a Koki for this. Um, but at the moment, I lost my Koki about 40 minutes ago. So I'm going to use a black pen, but it's fine. Because you just need something dark so that when you scan, it, it is picked up. When you're tracing it, you can pick up the pen as many times as you want. Just make sure that everything is consistent. Once it's scanned, I'll be opening it up in Fireworks now and um, color it in, resize it, and then the final application is you can see it on We Are Not Freelancers. This isn't nearly as like sort of accurate as I'd do it in real time, but um, this is a video which Charles bandwidth in South Africa, so we have to do it. Okay, so then you see you take that and you go you get it scanned, okay? And then you go to you get you, once you get it scanned, you put it into your uh, uh, what's it image editing software. So since I've already done this before, I don't have to go rescan it now. Okay, there it is over there. Okay, so we're going to open this up in Fireworks. Okay, see it's over there. We're going to then go and cut it out with the uh, what's marquee. this thing called? Huh? Marquee. Yeah, the marquee tool, which you just press M, by the way. So we cut it out, put it in a new page. Okay. Let's flip it, fit the canvas, okay, so now we've got 
We've basically got, got that, it's now online, okay? I mean online, on the, on the screen. So we'll highlight it. Now you see, if you zoom in, brother, okay, these lines, they're still not dark enough, okay? It looks pretty dark on camera, but in real life, they're not dark enough. So you click on the image, and you go to brightness, adjust color, brightness and contrast, um, and increase the contrast. You leave the brightness, just increase the contrast, and the lines will go darker, okay? You then right click, flatten selection, and now we can color it in. So let's color it in. Uh, up, uh, no, uh, we'll do opposite to whatever's on the site. We can just do red. Uh, you want pink? Well, that's opposite. Okay, pink. How's that for an, the ultimate fail? Epic fail. Why does it do that? Oh, yeah, that's why. The tolerance was too high, I think. Yes, there you go. Okay. Now we color it in like that, and let's make the, what are we going to make the actual inside? Bright blue. Bright blue. Okay, that's bright enough for me, mate. Beautiful. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now we need to get rid of the, the, the white outline, so we just click the wizard tool with anti-alias, and we highlight the page. Okay. And let's just get rid of that thing up there. Okay, so now we've got our tentacles. We need to resize it to something that big. Okay. Control Alt I. Control Alt I. Uh, I don't know. Height. What do you say? 180. There you go. That's perfect size. Okay. You can now use this in your design. Okay. Now I've used the PNG on the site here, but now do you do you realize how quick it was to take this drawn element, okay, and put it onto a website? I mean, once you've obviously edited it edited and stuff, and you have this handwritten design, hand-drawn design, and it's so easy. You don't need to be that creative. It's just about not lifting your pen. Look, we'll just uh, quickly write here David, in, or to do the D in 3D. Okay. Now, it depends where your angle's coming from. And there you go. There's a 3D letter, just like the... Just like the letters on We're Not Freelancers. So that's your very reasonably quick tut. And um, I hope you found it useful. Catch you later. Say cheers. Away. Away. Say cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Ciao.